Hi, this is David. I want to show you this great new module that I found for the eSword Bible Study software. It's the King James Version of the Bible, but it's got some special features to it. And on top of everything, it's free. So you'll find this resource by navigating your web browser to eSwordUsers.org. And if you need this link or more information, you can find it on my website. When you get to this web page, it is a user group for the eSword Bible Study software. You will need to create an account to log in in order to download the module, but the account's free, and it's also a great place to come if you need helpful information or discussions or additional resources like this Bible module for your eSword Bible Study software. When you do log in, you can download the KJV plus TVM Bible and Dictionary. And if you're not sure what these uh, letters stand for, it's the King James Version of the Bible and Tense, Voice, and Mood, which are grammatical notations for verbs. And that might sound frightening, but don't be afraid. We'll talk about it in just a moment. And you'll see on this page a download link for the Bible. You just download it, double click on it to launch it, and it'll install for you. Once it's installed, you'll launch your eSword Bible Study software, and which I've done. And I have two panels open in my eSword software at the moment. I've got a Bible panel on the left and a dictionary panel on the right because there are two components to this particular module. You'll see that I have the King James Version plus Tense Voice and Mood Bible open on the left and then there's a TVM or Tense Voice Mood tab under the dictionary panel on the right. I do have my King James Version Bible open to Matthew 6.33 where Jesus says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So I kind of want to look at this verse. Um, this is a very busy Bible panel. I don't want that to frighten you. Um, I'm going to talk about these green numbers that are after these words. First, though, the King James Version, it might not be your most favorite version of the Bible or the one that you primarily study from, but it is a, it is a very good word-for-word -word literal translation of the Bible. And in addition to that, we've got two additional resources kind of built into this Bible, which are these green numbers. Some of them are in brackets, some of them aren't. The ones that aren't in brackets are Strong's reference numbers, which are definitions, basically, of the words that they follow. And you can find out the information that they contain by simply hovering over them. So for example, if I hover over this G2212, I get the Greek word that was translated seek, and also a brief definition of that word. And if I actually click on it, my dictionary panel on the right populates with a bunch of blue information buttons, and these just tell me that these particular tabs have more information on that word, like my favorite, the complete word study dictionary, if I click on that, will give me much more information about this word and a bunch of verses where it appears. In addition to the green numbers that are not in brackets, you have some green numbers that are in brackets. You don't get any information when you hover over them, but when you click on them, like I'm going to click on the G5720 that appears after the verb seek, it will populate the tense, voice, and mood tab in my dictionary panel. So I'm going to click on this tab. And this will tell me that the word seek in Matthew 6.33 is present tense, active voice and imperative mood. Um, if you're not sure what one of these designations means, you can right click on the green number, like present tense, and look it up. And it will tell you right here what present tense means and sometimes give you an example. And present tense, for example, is a simple statement of fact or reality viewed as occurring in actual time. So it's continuous action. So when Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God, he's saying, keep on seeking the kingdom of God. It's not a one-time event, but something that we continually do. And to get back to the tense voice and mood information, just click the previous topic arrow, and you can then look up the other um, tense voice and mood designations.